want to keep screwing around with. I don't care. Oh yeah, of course I don't have it like that. Oh, I keep trying to hack it, and cut the stream, and all that crap. So I'm about to just delete that nine in the stream. I don't care. Do what they want to do. Let's see if I can update the exhibition roster. Gotta be the original roster. This the official. Yeah, that's tonight. They updated tonight. Let me see. Let me see. Yes, 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 we're gonna destroy them. Let me see if, if I got let me see if I got LeBron and tight end. That's why not delete that. Yes, it's over. Yes, yes. Matter of fact, they're gonna make me challenge the whole roster. We're gonna destroy them with this with this rock with this with this uh roster right here, man. Over. With this roster, man. Destroy him. This guy, this roster got the, 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 the first team. This is unstoppable. Because I can still got Kiki Alonzo and everybody else, but we're a little bit more tougher. That linebacker, yeah, I had Goodson. Yup. Yeah, matter of fact, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stream the rest of the season uh against uh the the computer. But I'm using my roster. I'm not using the computer roster. I'm using my roster. I'm using my people's. Yeah. I ain't going. I, I still got Donovan People Jones. You know what I mean? All right. Mm hmm. Donovan People Jones. Strong safety. Free safety that year. Yeah, you still got red wine too, but red wine started now. Let's see. You know I use Rodney Harrison Jr. at the strong safe at the free safety. Man, we ain't losing. We ain't losing to the Steelers. <coughs> and 
and I got it on all Madden mode, so they they're gonna try and get the fourth quarter touchdown and everything. So ain't no excuses. We unleashing the beast tonight, Brown fans. No, we're not losing to them tonight. Nope. Mm-hmm. Playing my season on all pro modes still, but the all Madden challenges, yeah, I want it to be tough as possible. I'm just making sure everybody on here. So we're uh, they go to real suck. What? No, you can be starting. Richardson. No, to real subs when we start. You might as well say this to uh <coughs> I would put some of the uh the older browns on here but I don't wanna get I don't wanna get copyrighted. Or whatever. I ain't thinking about that. I just know Robert Griffin the third, he used to play for the Browns before. He played for the Browns in the past. So that's why that's the main reason I got him starting. He was the starting quarterback before Mayfield got there. They got it where, like, they got it where you're supposed to be able to play the team anyway that week. I forgot what mode it is. I'm just going to do it do it on my own, but I'm using my team. I'm not going to use the, uh, the computer roster. Nope. They got Kareem Hunt started next week. Yeah, I know Nick O'Leary started. <coughs> this the team that started the winning streak. We got Callan Kaepernick at wide receiver. I got Ted Jean as my uh, fifth wide receiver. I actually want to move him up to third for the, just for this game, man. I mean, Landry Cool, I keep him in fourth. Landry Cool, but I'm not trying to lose to them. I'm trying to have my best people on the field. Ain't no way it's a home game. We're supposed to beat them. They're not going to be able to stop LeBron and tight end. <coughs> 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 Ain't Watch, I'm going to keep throwing the ball to him the whole game. Nope. Or Kaepernick, who I received. Too big and too strong. Man, we only had Antonio Brown for that one season last year. And then he retired. 
tired on us. Mom was tired. Cause I put his, I put his real age on on here, and he only played for one season. He was tired. And I think Ted Jen, yeah, I think he was tired too. Yeah, he was tired too. After the uh, Super Bowl season, he was tired too. <coughs> I mean, the championship season, excuse me, the championship season, soup of bowl, bowl of soup, That's what I'm start seeing for now. World Championship. <coughs> I ain't worried about the offensive line. They're pretty solid. No, wait a minute. Be Antonio supposed to be starting. Willis. What? Who the hell is this? He only a 63 overall? Yeah. Oh, I'm about to say. Yeah, he's probably starting. I hate to say this. But I'm not with the losing. I'm not with the losing at all. I don't like the losing, period. I'm highly disappointed. Now, it's a video game. If we win this game, on all Madden mode, which is the hardest mode on the game, there's no excuses why they could can't beat them. At home, we got home field advantage. I'm trying not to be so critical, but we got home field advantage. No excuses, man. We got home field advantage. No excuses. Oh, no Nick. I'm going right in with the team like that. I think the weather is going to do the weather for me and stuff. Wait 
Everybody should be on, be on, be in the game. Should be on the lineup, right? Cosmetic unlocked. And they're gonna let me use my roster. I can't do that. I should be able to use my roster against me. It took me offline though. How they just got like that? They said that so I can't use a roster. They go. They they gotta be over there. <laughs> I'm waiting for 22 experiment on my team. Play with a default. Let's see. Let me play some default roster. Yeah, I'm gonna check my Ethernet cable. Little hackers, man. Yeah, put plenty on me. They full of shit. What? I'll play with you. They keep hacking your fucking Madden. I'll play with a default roster. Motherfuckers. And quit hacking my fucking streams. All y'all full of shit. I'm still, I'll beat, I'll beat the still with a default roster. We're gonna wear all white. Kicking me offline on here, man. Trying to check the Ethernet cable. The next time they do that, I'm gonna stop the stream and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna reset the whole system and get the hacker out of there. Cause I know it's a hacker doing that, you bitch. 
And I know you stopped the stream nine minutes ahead. All the shit y'all be showing and saying all the crazy goofy stuff. All I'm doing is talking off the top of my head. And you people are just full of shit. That's all it is. Keep hacking my uh, job, man. Ever since I beat that, beat, beat Kansas City, they be doing this shit. Like soon, as soon as they see, soon as they see you uh, log in, they log you right out. Cause it logs in, it shows my credit, dude, and they just log you completely out. You can't ever get back in. They're talking about the server down. There ain't no server down. People playing this. And 2022 right now. Ain't no server down. It's so full of shit on here, man. It's really pissing me off. It make me want to just reset the whole fucking game. I'm resetting after I play them with the default roster. They full of shit. They just don't want me to have an advantage. EA Sports, y'all full of shit. Please do not copyright what I just said, but y'all full of shit. Because y'all letting this hacker hack me, and I'm on live, and y'all don't care. Y'all won't let the hacker stop. The hacker was hacking me, and, or they using a the cheat code or something. Last time I was trying to play somebody on the stream, and then y'all still let the hacker fuck with me. And y'all watching it. Everybody watching it, and nobody's doing nothing about it. Nobody at EA Sports. Y'all full of shit. I'm going to say y'all full of shit till y'all stop doing this to my account. I'm getting away with that shit tonight, but after this stream get passed around to the right person, y'all going to stop fucking with my... Uh, my account is a hacker that that's at EA Sports or it's a hacker that plays on this network. And I'm full of shit. I'm not stupid. I'm not fucking stupid. Assholes. I'm ready. I'm going. I'm about to beat them too.
today. Myself ready. First energy oh, state Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, I mean, the world. This I mean, the say National that. I mean, say League. Say no, I can't on here. Yeah, they can't stay. I got my team on here. <laughs> I'm about to say, yeah. Sorry about that, EA Sports. Got my team on here. Y'all still be, y'all still gotta let me find though. Let me play against somebody on about that EA Sports. Yeah, we'll everybody. see Robert Ready Griffin, the Cleveland All right. Versus Ben Robert Pittsburgh Steelers. It is a crisp fall after, and we've got football yes. energy yes. stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. Ohio. In Cleveland, even the have years have oh, never man. stepped Town. We got evidence of that oh, as the Browns made that they are ready to with Ben Roethlisberger and Steeler. Started now the kicker Chris Boswell. If we go, Flood. and the tackle going to be made there at the 25 line. So here come the Browns' first drive on offense. They'll be led out by their enigmatic quarterback, the Heisman Baylor. It's Robert Grip. And this could be a lot of fun because if his game goes into effect. Or let see some shots. Uh, hold on. Let's see. I should have tears. I, I, that's the last thing I didn't check. With, was um the kick return. Yeah, if he's too slow. Yeah, I'm on Landry. I'm gonna let Kaepernick return punts. So. Are we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. Wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the, yeah, the column this right. Play. Possible air raid. So we'll see. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see you that, right? What? Who gave away the game plan? I think it's right pretty obvious. Yeah. That yeah. 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 We're able to get yeah. this one across the 30. Yeah. Uh, uh, 11 to yeah. kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. First, First carry for Nick Chubb. Splits up past the 44 being tackled. It's a gain of 10 of the Browns. Are First down. Well, no slow start here. Plays back to back. Other than they're showing here, Earth, they did it both. Yeah, he threw the ball in first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like they've got the deep their heels. Let's see if it's moving. The best one yet. Back to back good plays. Have them on the move. Down. Now Griffin, right over. quick throw here, and taking Second it across, catch. man, inside the four. Let me check and make sure this on all mad mode, man. It better be, man. Yeah, it's on all mad mode. Ain't no excuses. Come on. All right. First and ten at the 43 so on the that's other that's side that's of the field now. It's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this. Mm -hmm. And some good tackling there. Mm -hmm. Down to about the field. Yeah. The it. big man tighter to make the tackle. Out there by the D to the front, getting him on the ground, but I think it's made by the defensive front. They can't get upfield. Their job is to go ahead and get low. Get into a ball sometime, back things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The last couple here, second and eight. To play on the I'm going to I'm going to throw is RG3. No. Time to his left. Take off with it. And they're going to have themselves in down as the tackles Mailer's 24 yard line. Janita there yeah, for a gain of 17. This is the last time we'll see that game. This guy has mobility. He to use his legs in the so there will be designed runs as ambles. There it is. There it is. Look at my play right here. On first down. Back to all day. Oh. In the end zone for a touchdown. Touchdown, and the Browns take it for the opening drive. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football team and score. And I don't script it. Was it just a play call that they had it no matter what. Ball on against the right deep, and they end up in the end zone. Parkey is on now for the point. Whatever. It's 
it's up and through to make it 7-0 Browns. So that drives 75 yards. And it is a touchdown for Cleveland. Yeah. I mean, I know what I saw, but NFL passer rating. I couldn't believe He's one of the top five winning his quarterbacks in NFL history. I couldn't, That's I couldn't believe it. I was asking questions. So, I'm not going to myself. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and ten. This is going against the world. I'm going to see myself. Uh, set up to throw from the gun. Oh, oh, oh. This is oh, Chase Claypool oh, on the receiving oh, end. Oh, oh, oh. And into the end zone. Touchdown. No, Chase Claypool. 65 yards. Right, first and play. the Steelers are an extra point away oh, from so tying I this thing up. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts. All right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. All right, speed limits are there, and off he went. He's going to shoot out. He's still going to win. I ain't going to let him score next time. He's going to play defense next time. The PAT up and good, but hold on a second. There is a flag. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. Ah. Well, we looked at each other right away. Oh, we knew no, that flag man. was coming. Damn. And I always enjoy <laughs> the conversation post because right, officials I know what always to do. tell you, I, I don't want to throw the flag, don't but you caused the play. Definitely you did it. That. I had to. Each team's had it. Definitely each team that. has that's scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's cool. away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. All righty. Second drive Second coming up game. here for Cleveland right. as they return to the field on offense. Down. And for them, a Let's touchdown go. their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, lose. okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before all. because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. I want to go to the flea flick on right now and um, get back on defense. Stop. The throw on first down with Griffin. Flush to his right. And he's going to keep it here. And he takes us beyond the 35 before yeah. going out of bounds. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing yeah, the situation. His up. first read wasn't there. And his second read him. wasn't there. But he bought That's himself a little extra down. time scrambling out of the pocket. Got to the sticks and picked up the first down. I made a mistake off blitz. Instead of playing, playing the covers like I was supposed to. But I know we can stop them. So from the 36 the now, first the and 10. Like they're going for it this time. You Griffin. See. Escaping the pressure right. Yeah, it's over. Now he's touchdown. Throw, and that's Get a, it's touchdown the right back. So they're going to turn and this into a shootout. Into the end zone. Touchdown. It's a shootout now. Now we got the lead on with a second touchdown in this, this opening quarter. And the Browns have taken this. the lead. Turn this to a shootout. I got this. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first like quarter. It's been yards, a wild guess start to this quarter, quarter, as you noted. And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? Yeah, I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth back all game long. Too, and that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we've seen in this I'm trying to beat them. I screwed up on defense. I'm not trying to lose to them. It's up and good. Especially and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, right, 75 yards later, right now, into the end zone. Right now, right now, right now.
Cody Parkey sets to kick off. Now after the score, it's Parkey on to kick it away. Parkey. Fielded in the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25 yards. So line. Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And following that long touchdown pass, a one play drive last time. See if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Yeah, right now, he's going to play fake. Now he hit. And the Browns Sack. pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Adrian Claiborne oh, credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. He lost 10 yards. He threw him to the ground. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Yeah. Work to be done. Same Another thing. try after Deep the first down, down sack. Roethlisberger. Uh -oh. Ebron caught oh, left side. Him. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Now Ben, oh, on man. Long, looking deep downfield, and that is incomplete. Cover, well, this is cover, what you want cover, to see from the defense. Stop, stop, Give up an open stop, drive stop, touchdown, stop, that's stop, fine. Stop, but how about stop, them going back no. out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing perfect a three cover. and out, stop. and giving the ball back to their offense. They're trying to tie the game. Nope. A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15-yard return. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. Robert Griffin III now gears up to lead this offense again. And he's been busy with his feet. He's been quite the scrambling man. And obviously that can break down a defense, but a lot of it is just that they just get trapped with worrying about it so much that other things break down as well. You know, you break the huddle, and you're not just playing what comes out at you. You're like, oh, God, don't let him outside of the pocket. Don't it's let him a, beat us all with his legs. And then he starts to beat you other ways. So, on first and ten, it's Griffin. Very quickly here, and that's complete. Oh, and he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 10 yards there to first start down. the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Nice yeah, job there utilizing his man. big target. He didn't man. overthink it. Understands the catch radius, <laughs> understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away That's from the size, ball, man. and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. That's why I got him to tight end. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. Oh, and he's oh. corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. Usually we see runs like this as it breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on it. Yeah, I got to get the Chubb started. So just get off. This as a, as a, as a back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Double take this is a double. On the carry, it's Chubb. Pretty nice aggressive run there before being brought down just inside of the 30. He was a six yard pick up, but it gets him to second and four. Six yard pickup brings up second and four. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. The score Brown Dan. I see Steelers if I had him on this level, I would have destroyed everybody's team. You can't do those details. Let's see, watch this. Four yards remain for second down. Watch everybody involved, bro. Now Griffin. First First down. down. Here, that's complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as that's the tackle's made at the, the Steelers' 12-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Oh, yeah, you're gonna blitz, yeah, likely going to leave you in man, man coverage man. with this guy, and that yeah. is less than yeah, ideal. It is call. because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if 
you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an yeah, elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Throwing now, Griffin on first down. Touchdown. This will be caught just inside the ten. Sorry, holds a touchdown. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. <laughs> touchdown again. Colin Kaepernick on his way to a monster game. Three first half okay, touchdowns, okay. and the Browns add on to their lead. Oh. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they had scored every time. Oh, and they got out, man. Whenever we talk about adjustments, yeah, we usually talk about an yeah, offense making yeah. adjustments, right? Oh, this yeah. is all about the defense. They've got to figure out yeah, some way to slow them down. Mode. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone man, coverage? Man, right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every now. direction. He's on all he adds the extra point, and it's now 21-7. to seven. This is smash. Smashing it. That's exactly what's going on. Yep. Cody Parkey sets yeah, the kickoff. Now after the score, it's Parkey on to kick it away. Ooh. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Auto switch it move up. the ball Auto at least a few up. times Stay on the offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Just something to build off of. That's what Stay they're the looking for here. Yeah. Now the pass finding its oh, way into the hands that. of Eric Ebron. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Mm. And he takes this up right here to 45 yards. Yard. Yeah, it's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second. Second and four. Oh, I'm going to sit and play myself. Brings up second and four yeah, like at the 45-yard line. Let's see. All right, yeah, we need some, we need some pressure. <laughs> First carry for James Conner. Mm. And down he goes That's at the 49, a three-yard pickup. The vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. They'll try and run for it with Conner. Oh, man. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Seven. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three. It was like he spun for the extra yards after the tackle. First and yeah, 10 yeah, upcoming from first Brown's first territory now at the 44-yard line. And now a timeout we'll called defensively that. by the Browns. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Now Roethlisberger on first down. Going top shelf for Smith yeah, Schuster. He's on that. Woo! And a very good he's return as he'll take he's it all the way up he's to the 40-yard line. He's on that. Rough top, Brandon. This is a veteran quarterback yeah, back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is head. definitely he's not his head. best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Yeah, he's about to be a blowout. He's a blowout, so I, I, don't, I, don't see, I don't see how they have the so much trouble The Browns drive about to get started. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they're going up this big lead. Now we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't oh, they? Yeah, like everything they, is working for them. Every they, move they, they make they works. It clicks, and they are on the right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about.
talking about. Okay, first down. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. They'll get yes. three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Muscle damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've been done three times for passing they, touchdowns. They but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. neglected. Nice little burst right there. The first down carry here for Johnson. Oh, go, 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 go. And they'll get him down tackle. after a pickup of eight. Second and two. That's a really I'm nice job you. by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. Yeah, it but a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little sure, bit high. Sure. They don't have great leverage, sure. and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Both of them. And I'm, I ain't used to get They go with Chubb on second down, and he'll get it down on the play to the 37. They'll get three yeah. as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now this oh, one over the middle into the hands the of his tight end complete. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Yeah, we got play Able to defense. get seven on that first down yes, pass down play. Defense. Second and three. Chubb. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's mm. almost a tendency right off that tackle, yep. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15 yard. Line. Let's face it, you always want a team full of guys who can get your first downs and big plays of all styles, oh, but you yeah. gotta have a big man. You can just turn and hand it to, and he can be dependable in picking up first downs. The Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. The clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Second goal. Second goal. Line of scrimmage to 15. It's first and 10. Now they'll throw it with Griffin. That's good slant. Right around the eight. Yep. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five out. at the six. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout yeah, as it'll come with 15 oh. seconds to play in the first half. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. Touchdown. And this is caught. Run. Touchdown, Cleveland. Touchdown. From six yards away. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. He got a figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work <laughs> free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. It's not fair. It's not fair with this team. It's not fair at all. Now parking for the oh. extra point. He Definitely knocks it through. Down. It's 28 So that was a pretty time consuming 10 play drive. And it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. They frustrated. Too big, too tall of a Brown to be. So. Parkey set to kick off. So not much time to speak of remaining Don't in this first half ball, as the man. kicks away. So all mad mode. Takes this about five yards they, deep. I think they need to throw in the towel. First half. The half he'll just take it in and bring the football in, out to the 25. What the fuck? Right. The Steeler right. offense here about yeah. ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out oh, just how much they oh, trust me. their guys yeah, in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick time. play and then another timeout if they hurry. Yeah, I know we'll see. Try to throw it deep. We're going to get intercepted again. second and a couple. Roethlisberger setting up the screen. This is Samuels. 
And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. And with just one That's second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. Final play of the half. It's Roethlisberger. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. That's the, the throw took him a little too in. far at second down. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks yeah. very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half from our quarterback. His guys have a three-touchdown lead as we're about ready to go into the second half. And to get you through it, we yeah, give it back to Brandon 20 God. 20 points, 21 points, 28. You got to be able to score at least 20 points and beat somebody, man. 10 points ain't enough to beat anybody. All right, Coach, thank you. And we Nobody, welcome everyone no, back no for team. quarter number three. You might need more than 10 points to beat a high school team these days. Cody Parkey you got, you got to score more than 10 points. The Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard oh. as we are back underway on EA Sports. Not having this here, bro. Hit him. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. Them, you know, They're down touchdown. three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something yeah, together as they have it first in. and ten. Got all the uh, spirits up real high. Thought they were going to uh, pull it off. Nope. Uh, I'm going to go to the cover to see it. I still can stop it. I got the intercept with the cover to see it. It's Roethlisberger. To the right they got side you, to Eric Ebron. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Hey. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is just to play right here. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up the touchdown. On second down. Oh, it's Connor. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That one a first down pickup of eight. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Showing them. Cover six. I just got to switch, switch, switch fast with the tackle. If I still need to learn. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now it's counter. Evades oh. the tackler and now some space. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. He was brought down by Denzel Ward. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 47. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Oh, he, he, he broke the tackle. That's what he did. He broke the damn tackle. Okay, this ain't working. Okay, I'm trying. Other so a first and ten and upcoming dying, from Brown's territory now at the 39-yard line. It's, 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 On it's, the it's, it's, counter, it's Connor. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. The 38. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and how? He get going moving the football. Yeah, he will reach the five yard line before going out of bounds. Still all sorts of time left in this game, and you'd like to be able to say, take it one play at a time. But the truth is, they're probably going to have to hit plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. I had dropped the coverage off of him. I was on my coverage. Come on, man. There's too many holes. 
Too many holes in defense. Too many holes right now. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Let's try running. Let's try running in. Uh, give to the fullback. This is Juan. No, and he'll keep hit. working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Two that gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. From the two now, Lips. second and goal. Lips. They go with Watt again, the fullback. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Steelers are able to close the gap just a bit. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We all know right, where we are. All that. But they sometimes that offense. binds you, you up so matter. much that you try this, too this, hard this, you don't win. get the score. This a perfect combination this of urgency, to, yet relaxed him enough him to get it done. It's still a blowout. Extra point now by Boswell. It's up and good, and it's now 28 to 14. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's culminated by a two yard touchdown run. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. First and yeah, at their own 25-yard line. Here's the Browns at for their first possession of the third quarter. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. Ooh. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Cleveland Browns. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now Chubb. Taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intense start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. That about right there. He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Yeah. Here's first and ten at the 45-yard line. My well. They run. Chow. Ooh. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine. Griffin, he gets it left side to Johnson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. 11. 
The last catch took him two yards in the wrong direction. So now what can they do on third? Griffin. Oh, incomplete. Oh, Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Joe Hayden on the coverage. What was going on? 